Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on games and tournaments. It says that uh, on the occasion of Holi, a company organized six games for its employees. In each of these games, the top three, that is the winner, runner-up and second runner-up were given Amazon vouchers worth Rs. 1,500 and 200 respectively. It was noticed that only 10 of the employees won all these prizes. Okay, and these are those 10 employees. However, none of them participated in all games. The table below gives the games in which the employees participated and the total amount won by them. It is also known that only two participants won vouchers in two consecutive games. Okay, so uh, there were 10 players who were the winners of these vouchers. So basically three vouchers in each game. So total 18 vouchers won by these players. Okay, and uh, this is this gives the person the games in which that person participated and the winning amount. Okay, so let us say the games are G1, G2, G3, G4, G5 and G6. And uh, we have the first, second and third winners. So first person gets 1000 rupees. Second person gets 500 and the third person gets 200 rupees. Okay. Now we should always start with extreme values like yes participated in only one game and won 200 rupees. So in G6, Yash came third. Okay. Now we are done with one. Now Som uh, got 1200 in two games. So 1200 will be 1000 plus 200. That is the only possibility. Now he cannot come third in game six because we know that Yash has come sixth here, right? So it will be uh, 600,000 uh, in this game and 200 in this game. Som is also done. Likewise, Ivan played first game and won 500 rupees. So that is Ivan. Okay. Now, Haim played two games and won 700. So 700 will be 500 plus 200. He cannot win 500 in the first game because Ivan has won it. So he will win 500 here and 100 here. So that is Haim and Haim. Okay. Now, if you look at this condition, it says that only two participants won vouchers in two consecutive games. So those those persons are him and Som. We have just determined those people, right? So now no other people can win vouchers in two consecutive games. So uh, now see if Pran wins 2000, so 2000 is possible like 1000 plus 1000. It could also have been 1000 plus 500 plus 500 or it could be 500, 500, 500 four times. That is the possibility. Okay. Now we know that there are only two participants who won vouchers in two consecutive with in consecutive games, right? Now these uh, this person cannot win in so if he played four games. Uh, and he cannot play win in consecutive games. So that means he can win in only two games. Okay, so that means he, he is winning thousand plus thousand and these are not applicable. Okay, uh, so we will find out in which games later. Now Rex can win 500 plus 500 or he can have thousand also, right? So that could be 500 plus 500 or it could be thousand also. We do not know at this stage. Now this love is winning 700 so that will be 500 plus 200 okay uh, and then we have uh, Iman winning 1500 so it cannot be 500 three times so it will be 1000 plus 500 okay now if we see Iman he played 1 2 3 he must have won these in first game and the third game because otherwise if he wins in second game it will be consecutive games in first game he cannot win 500 Okay, so in first game he won 1000 and in the third game he won 500. So Iman is also done. Okay. Uh, now we have uh, Nas. Nas won 900. So 900 will be 500 plus 200 plus 200. Now he cannot win in consecutive games. So he will win in 
second, fourth, and sixth games. Right? Consecutive games are not possible. So second, fourth, and sixth. In sixth game, he cannot win 200. So he will win 500 here. So this is Nas. So 500 won, then 200 in fourth game and 200 in second game also. So we have Nas and Nas here also. Okay, so we have filled for Nas as well. Okay. Now Karan is filling 1500. So 1500 only one possibility that is 1000 plus 500. Okay. Uh, and uh, now he is winning in first, second, third, and fourth games. Now in first, second, and third, 500 is not possible. So only possibility for 500 is in fourth game. So this is current. Okay. He won in fourth game. He cannot win in third game. 1000 rupees. He cannot win in first game also 1000 because first is already occupied. So Kern wins in second game. So second and fourth game he won the amounts. So Kern is also done. Now we have to find for love and for Rex. Okay. Love is 500 plus 200. Okay. So 200 only one space is left which is this and 500 also one space is left which is this. So love is also done. Okay. Now uh, we have Rex and Pran. So Rex cannot win 500 and 500 now. So Rex must be winning 1000. And Pran has to win 1000 plus 1000. So Pran cannot win in consecutive rounds. So Pran will win in third round and fifth round. And Rex will win in the fourth round. So this is how the table is complete. And we have figured out that who wins the, what amounts in which rounds based on the given conditions. So now let us answer the questions. In how many games was Pran the runner-up? So Pran 1000 and 1000, he was never the runner-up. So the answer is 0. This we could have answered by just identify that him and Som have won two consecutive rounds. Okay. In which games did Love win the vouchers? So Love won the vouchers in third and fifth game. Who was the winner in game 4? In game 4, Rex is the winner. Who among the following did not win any voucher in game 5? So game 5 we have P, L and S. So Nas did not win any voucher in the 5th game. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.